It's me, Victor. And this is my journey. What's up, guys? It's me, Victor. And I'm back again with another video. As you notice, we have one and two camps. Why am I doing this? Because I kind of want to, um, you know, spice thing up and change how I edit, you know, make it better, better quality. So one, two cameras. Hopefully you like it. Okay, so now that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. The last time I post, I left you guys off to say, I will come back and tell you my results on the Snapchat ad and a lot has happened since then that I'm going to tell you guys today. So let's get straight into it, no more filters and let's go straight into my computer. As you see we are on my computer and we are on our Snapchat ad manager. So right here we're going to go to campaign. Okay, we have two campaigns going on. So let's click on the first one because the second one, it was the, I was not actually running. Okay, I'm not actually running right now. I'm just like, I, I upload a second ad and you, I was playing later. Okay, so let's just click on the first one. And it say, still says a bunch of zeros because it was a bit, a bit a while ago. So I'm going to like say here to here. Let's do that. Okay, so it was over three days. Three days, I didn't, fin I didn't finish completing the third day, but I was running my ad, which was a TikTok video for about, you know, $10 per day, right? So let me show you, uh, if I go right here, so the category was, if I go, I was, it was Canadians. So I'll tell you Canadians, uh, Americans, and people from the UK. Also, I'll target all genders, age between 15, 35. Mostly target people who are trying to make a change and also people who are shoppers mostly. So if you get the point. So that's those are the type of people that I, I mostly charge. So so out of the three days, I didn't go through the third day, I had about 5,169 5, visitors. I mean impression so that means somebody can see it multiple times one person can see it multiple times and that will as multiple impressions but yeah so that means I'm paying 16 cents so since I got 100 and 186 swipe ups if you understand snapchat it's just like you can swipe up and go to the website um, that means that it was 16 cents per impression which was not the best okay so I actually stopped running it because I realized I actually was not even making any sales and the reason for that that I figured out later because my TikTok ad didn't make any sales and my video and my snapchat ad which I used to say in TikTok video they don't make any any um sales now what I realized is that I was watching people coming to my website from different countries and stuff like that and all my ads was mostly talking about the customizer so people were mostly using the customizer people were adding the card people will stay on their card which I was kind of like okay are you gonna go to check out or something like that why nobody going to check it because it wouldn't it won't show me if somebody is going to check out okay because privacy and stuff like that so I can never really notice if somebody was actually going to my checkout now since I didn't know I didn't know that the, the customizer because it's actually a product kind of the customizer is a product that it's hard to explain but the customizer is one product that has multiple products okay that you can customize so that one customizer product I do not attach any shipping to that product okay so that means that if anybody wants to buy a customization product then it would say that it's not available in your country even though it is available in pretty much all the countries or like the country that's mostly all speak English and the countries that I was targeting so that was the sad part and like I figured out I lost 16 orders and that's between the Snapchat ads and 
the TikTok ad. I can't. I don't know exactly from which one, but yeah, I lost sixteen orders. That could be around like minimum one sixty dollars, minimum. So I kind of lost out of that, but it is what it is, and we move on. So I kind of kind of learned my lesson that always check the shipping, okay? Since this was going on during the time that I did not know. Cause there was a couple of days where I was running this ads and I realized I like before I even knew it, I knew, I knew a week later that my ads and my checkout was not working because I didn't add the shipping. I realized that okay, maybe I should stop running the ads and rebuild my foundation. So I started taking courses and this it's how the notes came out so I'm going to show you my notes okay so right here you see my as you see improvement and growth since my snapchat ad was not working and I did not know why it wasn't I stopped running the ads and I tried making a you know a note taking thing so if I scroll down I talk about code business I just I shouldn't even add that um, then I was taking some definition just for me to learn. Then three types of marketing strategy, which I'm going to talk about later. But you see it in some of them. Um, so you, I'm not gonna like, of course, go in depth. Just like 28 pages. So I'm just gonna take like what I actually taking notes off. So I took some key notes. So you can pause it and you can read it if you really want to. I also talk about um, questions I should ask myself when doing certain stuff. So like about my website about building landing pages and stuff like that when uh, I'm creating certain writing content for social media for video marketing which, aka YouTube um, also emailing marketing and stuff like that so the first one I just do a like, breakdown talk about your business and stuff like that so, uh, you can pause it anytime you want um, second one exploring different digital marketing so like YouTube, S, uh, Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff um, so like Google ads and stuff like that how to make a website which I pretty much kind of skipped since I already made my website and I'm trying to learn about you know actually marketing I think because as you know my Snapchat ad wasn't actually working next was foundation of analytics so I used so now I started using um Google Analytics, which actually helps a lot to see where people are actually tracking, tracking what people are doing on your website and what links are they coming in and what link are they actually leaving my website. So I saw a lot of people actually leaving on the cart and I did not understand why until I actually seen, until I went to the cart, tried buying a uh, customization plug and realized that there was actually no shipping attached to it. So lucky I figured that out now. SEO. Also, SEO is where if you search for keywords like the real victors, you want to rank on top of that, right? Or maybe eco friendly or something like that. People pay for SEO to make sure the thing go up, or aka Google Ads, or people will actually write certain words in their article or on their website so then Google can actually recognize and be ranked up there with all the other competitors. Okay, search and display marketing as explained AdWords, how you rank up on like those higher things is also connected with Google ads, which is those ads that you can skip. Like I don't have Google ads right now because I have to have 1000 followers and stuff like that, but you get the point. Okay, so let me scroll down again. Okay, social media marketing, so Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff. They actually taught me a lot of tips that I'm actually going to explain very soon. Where I'm going to get into that later. Some of these tips I cannot get into because I don't really have an account for that. I don't want to spread myself out because I can only do so much for a 15 year old. Okay, so you get the point. And they also talk about running ads for like Facebook ads, Twitter ads, LinkedIn ads, and Pinterest ads. But of course, I don't have any of that social media, so I couldn't even run ads even if I wanted to on those platforms. Video marketing ad, mostly just talking about YouTube and how. To make a video is comp compelling that what I'm doing two cameras as you know um, email and marketing I feel like email and marketing kind of getting old it does still work but I'm going to try a new technique 
maybe I don't know I'll explain it now content marketing is just like writing good blog posts and all that stuff so then you can rank higher in SEO since like for example you write an eco-friendly blog post on your, web, on your website Google might say oh you may have some eco-friendly things so you're gonna rank you higher and stuff like that so you can pause it and see all the notes that I took from the courses. Mobile marketing and just like getting notification, having apps and stuff like that. Of course, I'm not there yet to make an app for my real, real Victor. So not yet, not yet. Expanding digital marketing, that's A-B testing. So they talk about like, you should probably test multiple ads and see which one works. Take the worst ads, put more money into the better ad and then that converts into more sales test different social media which one you can get more traction and stuff like that so I'm actually going to get more to that but I can talk about the ads thing is that I don't have much money to spend on ads so I can't really test multiple ads so I don't really have to take my own convincing myself which one actually works and which one I actually think would be better and I have to like ask myself that question but Sadly, I cannot test multiple different ads only at ten dollars per day because if it's less than ten dollars per day, it's not going. You don't have enough money to really let the AI pick the best people. As you've seen, I was supposed to have sixteen orders, but sadly, I messed up my shipping. So at least that's fine. That's fine. So let's keep on moving on. Um, influencer marketing, which we did try, and I just, I just took a couple of notes again too, just in case. And yep, that's pretty much it. So that's pretty much all the notes. That was all the notes. So the next part is that after taking all the notes, I look, I took some of the knowledge that I applied, and I was trying to get into a marketplace. So something like Amazon, is the all that stuff. So let me explain on my computer. Okay, so let's talk about different platform I was trying to get into. So. As you know, these platforms are very popular and it can bring me a bunch of sales. So I was trying to, you know, get into it so then I can maybe generate more sales. Now the thing is that SD and eBay, right? SD and eBay, those two whack. Why I say it's whack because you gotta pay like 20 cents and 35 cents per listing. I have more of that since since I kind of you know added more products in season two, and I will if, if you could between 400 dollars and more to add all my products. I don't have that money as you know, so maybe later I can, but at the moment I can't. Amazon just have a hard restriction and I don't want to get my account bad just in case I want to do it later so that's out of the way wish your product had to be shipped out within five days Stone V I just can't connect to use with all my products I can connect it with some of my products but not all my products so maybe I might connect it with some of my products for free but it's not the one with designs it's one only with the logo and I don't know if people will like it but maybe 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 and bonanza bonanza just just didn't try maybe i can I haven't tried but yeah that's pretty much it i don't know i should really try another marketing strategy that i try to do is improving my instagram so if you guys i don't know if i told you guys last episode but my instagram actually got blocked and I try finding some kind of contact to try to contact them and they did not do not have any contact we don't have a phone number we don't have an email or anything so ever since i connected with facebook which is so annoying so i couldn't really get my facebook thing back and like they did send me an email like how to recover my instagram and i tried it and still they haven't responded back to me and it been like almost a month so, so I also try a follow for follow strategy and if you follow me, I mean if I follow you and you follow me back, I'll keep the follow, but if I follow you and you don't follow me back, I unfollow you, you know, I cannot be wasting my followers, the ratio has to be good. So on top of that is uh, I also try to make my website a bit more appeal, like my, not my website, I mean my Instagram a bit more appealing to your regular audience. 
by making more better pictures, videos, and also reposting posts from other people that are related to my brand. So other charities, other things are doing good around the world and stuff like that. So all of that I try to do for my website. I mean my Instagram. And I haven't added stories yet. I don't think I have enough content yet, but I'm probably gonna add stories very soon. Maybe even do a QA and do all this stuff. But let me actually go show you on my computer. So as you see, we're on our Instagram again. We got another like. You know what? Let me shout out all the people that like my recent post that I posted today. Uh, yeah, this picture. Okay. So yeah, shout out to all of you. You can see all the handles. You can go follow them. But um, yeah. Okay, that's it. Shout out to all those people. You can go follow them. I'm not gonna link them because I'm too lazy. But yeah, go follow them since they like that post. Now, here's how my picture, or this picture looks so far. There's only 15, no 16 content on here. So usually I post video, a picture of our people wearing our stuff, maybe another video of people wearing our stuff, and, uh, well, I guess I post another video, I guess. Uh, and then I post uh, charity. That's not for me, but like, from another person like talking about charities and stuff like that. That's also related to my season charity, or maybe it might not, I don't know, I haven't decided yet. Then I posted a quote, oh yeah, this was actually supposed to be a quote, but it was a quote with my picture, so you get it. This is another post of my content, my content, and then a quote, then a charity. It's all talking about something related to my brand. Then my video, then another picture of mine, then a quote, then a charity related thing. Then a video of mine, then a picture and the next one's gonna be a quote and then maybe it might be a cherry and then you know it's gonna be a pattern maybe posting every two days hopefully I can keep it I plan to add some stories up here you know try to gauge more people try to add uh, you know Q&A so I can interact with my audience more and you guys pretty much get the point you guys have been asking me where do I find these people on my Instagram to take a picture of my you know of my clothing brand and stuff like that and to wear my clothing brand and i'm going to actually show you the website i actually do not have people actually wearing my brand these are actually from another website that i'm going to show you and if you made this far you deserve to know so let me go show you so the website is called place it place it is a website where you can get images and you can attach your logos and stuff on their product images and you can use it for free, you can use it anywhere and stuff like that. So these are all the free ones. There's so much more that are like you can pay for and stuff like that. Here are just the free ones that you can also get and it's like yeah free. And you can use it on Instagram promoting it and stuff like that is showing off how your product will actually look on a person. Okay? And you can make it look like you actually have a lot of people actually using your brand even though you actually don't aka me but you get the point it's nice it's cool and yeah okay so another strategy that i'm going to use that i kind of learned is that testing out different social media networks so tiktok is probably the biggest social media right now and i was going to try to promote on tiktok now tiktok is getting more and more saturated and might even get banned so i downloaded a bunch of tiktok variation posted my it's me victor that i'm about to show you and i'm pretty sure i explained in the last episode and i also have another account tiktok account called shop your victors for uh, my brand and yeah those two i posted all the videos that i had on both two content and put it on a bunch of TikTok variation, copycat, whatever you want to call it. Because as you know, TikTok is a place where people, where the AI actually promotes your video on people for you page. So people don't actually get to choose and like, that's really benefit me a lot. So I'm actually going to, I actually did it. The results was that only, I tested like six apps, seven apps that are TikToks are like, and only one app actually works in called Firework. Now I don't have it on my computer, but Firework is an amazing app and I, even though I'm not sponsored by them, you should definitely check it out. But I've been posting some 
new you know it's me victor on tiktok and i'm actually going to show you that results okay so here is my it's me victor yt because someone took me it's me victor but it's me victor yt which is me youtube and the this one i posted like this two hours ago it views 138 views and around all oh, having around 100 views right this one got 300 views this one got 800 views and this one got 500 views i feel like i guess saw some of them but if i don't want to explore how it is just go there like it and follow for shorter one minute videos explaining each episode for the last part that i'm going to talk about because then we talked about a lot of things today is how much money have I actually made since I started this journey and also how much money I actually made for this business and stuff like that so let's get straight into it okay I'm, and just to let you know I'm not trying to flex I'm just going to give you a heads up I'm not trying to flex you know <laughs> I'm not trying to flex but yeah I'm not trying to flex I'm not gonna say anything, I don't wanna spoil it right now. So like, just keep on watching, but like, I'm not trying to flex. I can let me show you actually. Okay, so, grand reveal. How much money did we actually make? Let me actually show you. So, here is our whole thing. I'm exposing everything, each season, each month, everything. So, for those people that actually want to see my whole breakdown, here it is. I'm not going to show it on anything else. I'm going to, if you probably heard, I might have directed you here like, hey yo, watch my YouTube video if you want to figure out. Hey yo, watch my YouTube video if you want to figure out. I'm not going to explain to you. I want the views, okay? So here it is. Here's what I'm talking about. I'm exposing everything. I'm cool. I don't care. You know what I mean? I don't really care. Because anybody can really do this and everybody's, everybody is doing this. So it doesn't really matter. And just to let you know, I'm not sure enough. Nothing doing anything. This is just, well, my journey is all about zero to a billion, so I'm going to get to a billion anytime. And how's that showing off? Where well, I'm showing you how much work it's actually taking. I've been like three months, and this is how much money I actually made. So, in revenue, we made 900. This is all in total. So, look up here if you want to go more in depth, you can look down here, but I'm not, I'm not that much time. So, in total, we made $590 in revenue. Cost of goods. It's cost three hundred and seventy-four dollars. We donated fifteen dollars, which does not sound a lot, but for how much we have in revenue. But if you listen to me, you understand. So take. Also, let me actually go right here. Payout is what Shopify actually takes, and after after how much money? So I got five hundred and ninety dollars in revenue, but Shopify actually gave me five hundred and ninety six dollars because of their two point nine percent plus thirty cents so that kind of sucks then um so out of this minus ads which we spent twenty nine dollars and that was actually only for snapchat even though i did an influencer brand deal she couldn't buy anything because she tried to buy a customized product and guess what We didn't actually pay the influencer. That's because, well, I actually wanted to, but as you know, the shipping did not allow me to. Cause I actually forgot, and I lost 16 orders, and I forgot to pay. Pretty much, I paid her a 15, 75 dollars gift card. So maybe I have a bad impression. Maybe she thought I was sketchy. Hopefully, if you're watching this, I didn't mean that to happen. You can still use it. Your code is still available. So. Yeah, um, and oh yeah, my Instagram account is actually disabled, so she actually might not, if you don't remember, hit me up, I can send you the code again. That's only if you watch it, I don't know if you're watching or not, it might be a while, but yeah, you get the point. So then, monthly fee, $58, so the first three months was actually free, and I paid it just last month, July. I would actually finally pay my first monthly fee plus all the app fees that I also have to. So then also, so as you guys see, this is how much profit I actually made. $97.01. So I actually donated even more money. So if you add this and this together and then 
10 10%. 10%. If you add these two together, that is I like I don't know, 112 dollars. So I'm actually sure I donated 12 dollars. Uh, but it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, we're talking about oh, 11 dollars. 12 or 11 dollars. I don't even know, but like, you get the point. I should have donated that much. 12, I think 12 dollars, but I donated 15 dollars. So I actually donated more than I actually needed. And the reason why I have 93 dollars in pro, 97 dollars in profit is because I lost 33 dollars. Not my first negative. And that's because I ran 20 to 9 dollars in ads and I had more money in monthly fees and all these other fees. So I kind of lost money. And even though I had 16 orders, I also lost two. Man lost money, but hopefully once we start running our Google ads, which I haven't told you, but I'm going to run Google ads, we're going to get all our money back. Okay, so just before I go, this is all including May, June, and July. There was a big order that's not on here. That was for three hundred and seven dollars. We made about like eighty-two dollars profit. But I haven't put it here because I want to do this at the end of every single month just in case we get more orders and I want to keep on updating it. So yeah, three hundred seven dollars, and I can tell you that we made eighty dollars in profits. So. We're still at about $170 in profit, so that is amazing. But there's still gonna be some fees if we don't keep on trying to promote to which we're gonna try Google ads. We're gonna try to do Google ads, YouTube ads, stuff like that to try to really promote us. So that's the next step. Also, a next step is we're gonna try to DM more influencers but even smaller influencers so we can only give them an affiliate link that they can use and promote to their brands. So people that might not have a brand deal, we're going to try to promote to a bunch of little influencers, like little, little influencers, maybe like 10k on uh, TikTok, you know what I mean? They will just take an affiliate link that I hope that they will accept. Okay, so those are the plans for this week. If anything else happened, I'll probably tell you the next episode, but you get the point. It has been me, Victor. Sign it out with about $170. And see you guys in the next video. Peace.